Hi, I'm back in Ottawa at my desk. I'm not here much, living in British Columbia. But in the last couple of days, spending time in question period, spending time in the House of Commons again, a couple of issues have been raised. thought I'd bring you up to date quickly. Uh, one is that conservative strategists have made it clear to the Hill Times that they are going to make it an election issue to reverse the political financing reforms that have been brought in in the Chrétien years. Um, this is how Canada got rid of the threat of uh, deep pockets, uh, Bay Street corporations making direct donations to political parties and trade unions making direct donations. It was felt that this created an undue influence from large corporations and trade unions. You can guess which party used to get which donations. And uh, the Chrétien government managed to clean that all up, remove any possibility of donations from corporations or trade unions. In fact, those donations are now illegal and replace them instead with a small amount of money, less than $2, for every vote cast for the party of your choice. Now, that has made Canada the envy of the world in political financing situations. We have a, a completely clean system, and there's still some loopholes. Granted, there's still some questions about how some parties are fundraising, but we are so much farther ahead than the U.S. where big corporations like the, the health insurance companies that created that really acrimonious debate about improving health care coverage for citizens south of the border. Uh, the fact that they could donate so much to the campaigns of congressmen and senators had an impact on that pub policy debate. We don't want that in Canada. So when you hear that the Harper Conservatives talk about how they're going to fight taxpayer subsidies to political parties, remember that's coded language for they want to bring back the bad old days of big bucks from big corporations to the political parties that they think will do them favors later. We don't want to do that. So watch that one. One last thought, uh, the budget implementation bill last year, you may remember, gutted the Navigable Waters Protection Act. Well, this year they're after the Canadian Environmental Assessment Act. They're actually using the Budget Implementation Act to change the way the, the environmental assessment system works to evade what had been done by the Supreme Court in saying that projects must receive a full environmental assessment. A Supreme Court decision called the Red Chris case has now led the Harper government to eviscerate Canadian environmental assessment, first in the language of the budget, saying they're going to take out energy projects, and now in the text of the Budget Implementation Act, a much more devastating energy projects will be out of environmental assessment under the Act, and at the same time, they're going to be removing the trigger relating to federal money requiring the projects to be assessed. They're also taking out the requirement for public consultation when projects go to comprehensive study. These are not small projects. If they've gone to comprehensive study, they are by definition large and important projects which require public consultation. Once again, the Harper government in minority is using the power it has to lord over parties that they know in opposition don't want an election to push through a regressive agenda. Keep an eye on that one, too, and write letters. We have to protect the Canadian Environmental Assessment Act. Thank you.